What makes a good pizza? Is it the dough? Is it the sauce? Is it the cheese? Is it the toppings? Is it the accumulation of all of it? Well, one man tries to find that out. Join him as he tries to find the best pizza in this Golden Triangle area. How y'all doing today? This is Living Local 409 coming at you with a new one. Hey, we are closing in. This will be the last place that I uh, do before I do the video of ranking all of the pizza places that I have visited. This is the last one. I know I, I think it's the last one was, but this is the last one. <laughs> so I don't know if you know about in Beaumont, we used to have two places called uh, New York Pizza and Pasta. Well, one of them uh, changed the name to Boca Feliz. And so now uh, it's, it's new ownership, but they also have the other New York Pizza and Pasta, but that name is not changed. But anyway, I just I realized that I did not have New York Pizza and Pasta yet, but I seen that they were going through an ownership change, so that's the reason why I didn't eat there. But now it seems that that is complete and they're under new ownership, so I wanted to go ahead and give them a try and see how they are because this is the pizza run, so I definitely want to make sure that I give New York Pizza and Pasta, aka now, the, well, the place that I went is Boca Police, so I wanted to give them a try before I started ranking everything. So I am excited because I had New York Pizza and Pasta before, and it was always good. I got the thing that I got before that made me just go like, yes, <laughs> and it was the stuffed pizza. Uh, then also I got uh, mozzarella sticks. I'm only going to try one and give the rest to my wife because she loves mozzarella sticks, but I just definitely wanted to try it. So uh, I'm excited. Uh, the next video look out for is we're going to be ranking them. Uh, this is all my opinion. That's my opinion. So if you get angry and say, why are they rated so low? In my opinion, they were rated low. But um, let's get to Boca Feliz and see what they got working with them. I mean to say what they working with. <laughs> all right, let's go. All right, so I think actually this is my pizza and that is the the breadsticks. I may be wrong, but I believe because I only got a slice. Um, Cause stuffed pizza, I didn't want to get a lot because I know I will be over full, but I might be wrong. It might be the other way around. Cause like I said, I haven't opened anything yet. So let's look and see what we got here. All right, sorry, I had to take a little pause break, but I'm back. So. Let's see what we got here. Okay, nope, this is my pizza. Oh, I should have known because their pizza are always huge. Look at that thing. That thing is huge. Okay, I love it. You can see, oh man, I bet you the bottom of my stuff is starting to... <laughs> That's when you know it's good. Um, not good for you, but you know, anyway. Look at that sauce came with it. I don't, I'm not really a sauce guy. Talked about that in my last video. But um, if you're one of those that eat it with a fork, knife and fork, you go, got, here you go right here. So this is the pizza. Definitely are gonna try this. I love stuffed crust ones. Um, stuffed pizzas. It's no different. So this must be my mozzarella sticks. I was way off. And I should have known. I should have known. Let's see what we got. Okay. That same sauce. This must be their homemade sauce. Now this I'll actually dip it in the sauce because I want to see the marinara sauce that, that comes with cheese sticks. Um, then they give you a plate to actually share, I guess, <laughs> with some silverware in there. But anyway, it's just me for right now. But like I said, this is mostly going to be for my wife. She loves breadsticks, and I will be a fool to eat breadsticks and not give her any. All right, let's look at this and try it out. So, yeah, let's go ahead and try this out, see what we got going for us. I, I'm going to try the breadsticks 
first. I mean, mozzarella sticks. Sorry about that. Mozzarella sticks. I love that little, that little, little mozzarella. Yeah. What is that called? I forgot what that cheese is called. A few moments later. Parmesan cheese. Man, why did it take me so long? <laughs> Parmesan cheese. Duh. Parmesan cheese. I'm sorry, my brain ain't there today. So. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? First, I'm gonna try it without the sauce. That that sauce smells good. It's got a nice aroma to it. I man, this it smells good. That sauce by itself smells really good. It's a good cheese stick. That sauce is good. It's it tastes like it's a tomato-based sauce that you know that you expect to be on pasta dishes from an Italian restaurant. And I get the pleasure of having it with mozzarella sticks. And it's not super thick, but it's thick enough to where it holds chunks on your cheese stick. I'm gonna stop now because I got this for my wife. So if I keep going, this is gonna, mm, I'm gonna finish that off. Cheese sticks are great. They're starting off real good. They're starting off strong. They're starting off strong. Now, this big old beast here. Oh, the reason why it didn't leak through is because it's on a piece of paper. That's that's smart. That's smart. Ooh, this thing huge. Look at that thing. That, let me, let me get in, let me get in focus. This thing is huge. <laughs> let me try it out. The cheese is surprising me. I can't place it. I don't know what they, I'm gonna have to look at the ingredients. It doesn't taste like regular cheese that people put on pizza. This is something different. It's high quality. It's a different type of cheese. I'm not, trust me, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. What I'm saying is I can't place it. <laughs> I can't place what kind of cheese this is. And it's uh, really messing with me. <laughs> but the taste is good. That crispy crust that's over it, because this is stuff. So that crispy crust, the meat inside of it tastes real good. There's really no downside to it. I will say it just doesn't taste like a regular pizza. I don't know what they use for cheese. I can't place it. It's messing with me. But it's good. Mwah. That is a good pizza. Uh, I'm going to have fun eating that thing. A lot of fun. Too much fun, if you ask me. <laughs> this is good. And I need to dip it in the sauce donut. I need to go ahead and test that with that sauce donut. Oh, man. The moment it just mixes together in your mouth, pause, is amazing. That's some good pizza, man. No joke, no joke. I am very, very, very pleased at that pizza. That sauce brings it to another level. They, well, Boca Feliz makes some amazing sauce. Tomato-based sauce that I've had now on the two dishes. That sauce is another level. I'm very pleased with it. I gotta find a better way so my face isn't getting cut off. All in all, this was a great, great meal. I'm very, very pleased at my food. Um, man, Boca Felicia you did your thing on there. Uh, that cheese, you're gonna, I'm gonna have to look it up. Cause that's not mozzarella. Uh, I, I can't even think of white cheeses that go on pizza, but I know that regular is mozzarella, isn't it? But anyway, that doesn't taste like it. That tastes, it tastes unique. Uh, it's not bad. It just, it hit me in a way that I didn't think I would get hit, you know? So, great pizza. Mozzarella sticks are, mwah. Yeah, because the mozzarella sticks taste, I don't know. I I may be tripping. I may just be out of it. <laughs> I just never tasted pizza like that. It doesn't taste like when I was at New York Pizza and Pasta. I tell you that much. It tastes way different, but it's still on that same level. That's what I will say. New owners are doing a good thing.
Uh, they're doing a great thing. And I think you should go ahead and, and definitely go support them. Give them your business. And I seen that pastas. I'm definitely going to be doing pastas. Usually I don't do pastas on a review because that stuff, trying to eat that in the truck is crazy. <laughs> but if I do a, a, a video where I'm at, at a, a restaurant actually eating, I'll see how good that is. But never, nevertheless, let me go ahead and end this with uh, just thanking y'all for support. Like and subscribe if you can. This is Living Local 409. Peace.